Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Today I'm going to talk to you about vacuform nose cones. Now, vacuform nose cones are made out of very, very thin plastic. And the advantage of a uh, vacuform nose cone is it is very light. Um, in this video, I want to show you how we make them and then how you can assemble them yourself to use them in your own rockets. Um, I typically use them in competition style rockets like this one right here. This would be a parachute duration rocket where I have a vacuform nose cone on the top. Um, and it's got a big payload bay for a big parachute because on this, this rocket I could put probably a 32 inch parachute in this because I want it to stay in the air for a long time. I want everything super lightweight, which is why I use the vacuform nose cone. So um, let's go into the shop and I'll show you how we make them before I show you how to assemble them. This is the vacuform machine. Essentially, it's a oven with a tray on it with a vacuum underneath the tray that will heat up plastic and pull it over the forms. These are the forms. Uh, generally, we use uh, urethane resin, but you can use steel or wood. We just use resin because it's, it's easiest for us to make. To operate the oven, what we do is we put the forms on the tray, put a piece of plastic on top, and then we'll cinch that down so that it can't move. This is the oven being moved over the top of it. Uh, once the oven is moved over, the heating elements come on and it starts heating up plastic. There's also a timer that counts down how long it takes for the plastic to heat. You can see the plastic starting to warp and the heating elements in the oven. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit here uh, while the plastic is heating up. When the plastic is hot enough, the tray underneath moves up and smashes into the plastic and then the, then the plastic drapes over the forms. You can see a lot of webbing in here and we take care of that with some of the tricks that we use. But this is the general idea is that the plastic is formed over the mold underneath. And these are usable parts here and we'll cut off that little webbing there on the bottom. So uh, these have come off the vacuum former and uh, we're ready to start trimming them. Uh, typically what we do here at Apogee is we, we do a rough cut around the perimeter with a hobby knife. And this is so that um, it doesn't take up so much room because we're going to put it into our laser cutter. In our laser cutter, uh, we're going to spin it when we cut it. Um, one of the neat things about vacu uh, vacuform plastic, um, and we use polystyrene. In polystyrene, you just score it and you can wiggle it back and forth and it will pop out of the sheet. So basically that's what we do. We'll, we'll, we'll get the nose cone in this configuration and then we put it on our laser cutter. So our next thing is we're going to go back to the shop and I'm going to show you how they're cut on the laser. Oh, nice. This is the laser cutter that we have here at Apogee Components. You can see this is the laser bed and then it's controlled by this computer over here. So I'll go ahead and set this up and we'll show you how it's cut. So this is the egg capsule right here and I built this fixture here to hold the egg capsule so that it doesn't wobble while we cut it. Before I can cut it I have to put the laser in the right spot and I'm going to move the head over here so the little red dot is near that black line. Okay, so now it's near that black line and I can turn the laser on and we can see how well it cuts.
is fascinating how they're made, isn't it? I marvel at it every time. Um, but now you own your own nose cone, and so how you are going to assemble it. So when you get it, you're going to get a piece of Kevlar, um, a shoulder, and then the nose cone. We need to put the Kevlar into the base of the nose cone, and this is where we're going to attach the parachute. Um, I like to take some thin CA glue and put a drop on the Kevlar to stiffen up the fibers so that um, it's easier to handle. So once I do that, I just wipe off the super glue. And you'll notice that right here, it's, it's now stiff compared to here. Um, and that's good. So we'll just take our hobby knife and trim off these fibers that are kind of fraying out. And that's what I want to do here. So now I got a nice sharp edge, nice sharp edge on the corner there. Uh, we're going to take the shoulder portion and we're going to drill a hole in it using our hobby knife. Just kind of push in the middle and kind of wiggle it back and forth to kind of drill a hole. And we want the hole big enough to where we can put in the Kevlar shock cord like that. Perfect. Um, now, what I do is I tie a knot on this end right here. And I make it a big knot because I don't want it coming through like that. And then I pull the shot cord through and I get that right there at the bottom, just like that. And then I take some thick super glue and I'm going to put a drop right there on the bottom to hold it in. Now, to make the loop for the parachute or to attach the shot cord from the rocket, I just double it over like that and just make a simple overhand knot. And then pull on that knot and make it nice and tight, just like that. And then this part here, this long piece of Kevlar, I can just trim that off. So now this is where I can attach it to the nose cone or uh, to my shock cord on the nose cone. <laughs> shock cord on the body tube. <laughs> Um, I can take that and tie it here. I can also attach the parachute there or a streamer, whatever. Um, and then to assemble the nose cone, we'll put the two halves together. And we want to make sure that when we rotate it, that it's nice and straight. So I'm going to look at it real careful. You only get one shot at this. And then I'm going to take some super glue, and I like to use the odorless variety because it's foam safe. Basically, it doesn't attack the plastic because regular super glue, um, it heats up when it, when it cures, and you've probably felt that if you ever got any on your finger, it starts to burn. Um, that extra heat can melt the plastic and cause it to split. So I like to use the odorless brand variety. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's... It's safe to use on the, the vacuform plastic here. And this is styrene plastic, which I said before. So what I'll do is I'll use the applicator tip. And I'll just go around. And it will wick underneath by itself. And any glue that's on top, just wipe off. Again, double check to make sure that it's nice and straight. because this is how it's going to be on the rocket. And then uh, allow that to cure, and then uh, your nose cone is ready to use. So that's the basic technique for assembling a nose cone. Um, the egg capsule is a, just a little bit different. Uh, the egg capsule, we have two of those, plus the shoulder, and again, our, our Kevlar shock cord. Um, we can't attach the shoulder like we did before because this is going to get glued on here like this and this is a weak joint and these are with the heavy egg inside of here it's going to snap that off so basically we need to attach the shock cord here on this end 
and the, the technique is the same. Just take your hobby knife and drill down into it. Okay, and I'll take this shot cord, put a little glue on there, Just stiffen up those fibers so I can get it through the hole nice and easy. Just like we did before. Push it through, put a big knot on it. Pull it through as we did before. Put glue down here to glue that in place. Now on the shoulder, what we're going to do here is we're going to cut a bigger hole. See, that's much bigger, isn't it? So then this gets through there. And then it's going to get glued on here. Again, you want to make sure that this is nice and straight. Let me uh, double check here. I'm looking at it. Hold it down and then I'm going to tack it with the glue. Oops, it moved. You get the idea. Just make sure it's nice and straight. Ah, the glue hasn't cured yet. I don't have my accelerator here. You know what the accelerator is. I, I show you that. Pretty much every video I use the super glue. Okay. But anyway, what we're going to do is the same thing here. Double that over. or not and we can cut this part off here okay so now there's no stress at all on the shoulder and that way um, it's not going to pop off on us um, and then the instructions on using the egg capsule is once you put the egg in it, it self aligns and you wrap tape around it and that's how you hold the egg in so that is basically how you use the vacuform nose cones this one is definitely that's straight. That's better. Okay, <laughs> so my name again is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.